Hey everyone, today on Vinyl Love we're discussing uh, the career of a young singer named Aaliyah. This is where it all began for me, the summer of 94. Aaliyah. And uh, there was no turning back once I heard this voice bumping out of the radio over in uh, Providence uh, and Newport in Rhode Island where I was staying that summer. I went and tracked this record down and a love affair with her music had begun. Uh, she only left us with three albums but an absolute massive impact and a really, really good career. So today, it's all about Aaliyah. It's Saturday night I'm about to do, well, I am doing one of my radio shows here on Red FM. About to play some Aaliyah. This is Cork Shot FM Saturday Night on the Block Party with MIA Classic Track Sampling. The Clash, it is of course Paper Planes. No, it's one of my favourites. She was so far ahead of the game. Her music so timeless. 20 years on, still sounding amazing. It is Aaliyah and Rock the Boat. <laughs> If I was to look at every record in my music collection from a moral standpoint, uh, I'd be throwing out a lot of music. Uh, but after recent revelations uh, with R. Kelly, I mean, we always had a hint that there was stuff. I find it impossible to stand over his career, uh, to stand over his music and to not cancel him, really. Uh, I know you could say that a lot about a lot of other artists, but I think with R. Kelly, it definitely was systematic abuse. As much as I loved all these records at the time, uh, I think it's impossible, really. Uh, and to be honest, I've, I've really no interest in, in any of these anymore, unfortunately. Uh, the music he did with Aaliyah was amazing. I will be keeping those records. And obviously, I was delighted. Um, I think it was good for everyone, really, that she ended up um, breaking his stranglehold and getting free. And moving on to the next stage of her career, which was even better anyway. The music that Missy and Timbaland and Aaliyah did together uh, really helped all of their careers. Obviously, Timbo and Missy uh, went on to be massively successful in the next decade too. But this music with Aaliyah that they recorded uh, was obviously uh, really up there with some of the very best. The Sonic template was absolutely amazing. I remember playing on Pirate Radio at the time uh, in the 90s. And obviously, this is the early 2000s as well. Um, but particularly in the 90s with the slower stuff that Timbaland was making, it was absolutely revolutionary. I was lucky enough to be playing in a nightclub where uh, I had the whole night to myself in a small area, small room where I was basically uh, dictating uh, what to play. So we were playing all of those really slow mo things. But on the radio, I could experiment even more. Uh, all that Missy Elliott, Aaliyah stuff, all of that really, really slow material. Um, was a it was just a, a great time to be able to break it and it thought it totally changed the game in music no doubt about it when this one dropped it was absolutely radical absolutely revolutionary the slowest record in the club at the time uh definitely one of the best i remember getting behind this and just playing it and playing it and playing it are you that somebody still sounds great over 20 years later like all of her music timbaland static and Aaliyah. what a combination and what a record looking through some of the records there the romeo must die promo we mentioned try again lots of iconic you can really see the aesthetic um that's what i like about the vinyl love situation um but you can really see how cool Aaliyah was i love that double-sided one we mentioned my the first one i got uh aj nothing but a number early career at your best your love the original here by the isleys uh iconic stuff there was a big isleys influence we mentioned uh the last album actually did a manageable work uh version of got to give it up as well the marvin Gaye classic but look there's loads more upstairs but i think we all can appreciate that Aaliyah uh really was visually just as cool as she was sonically Leah's impact and influence has been absolutely even more pronounced since her passing. Uh, lots of these were big hits after she died. Uh, obviously, that was the video uh, that they were recording. But when you go back to the start of her career here, uh, this AJ Nothing But A Number album, it's a brilliant album of brilliant singles. But like this was a time when the likes of Brandy was around, Monica was around, uh, people like Usher were around. I think really what changed the game was when she started working with Missy and Timbaland, who were at the start of their career. Uh, 
it changed it for all of them and this these were the records that really revolutionized R&B there's absolutely no doubt about it uh, what they did together uh, changed up the game Ali is a timeless artist. Her influence has become more pronounced as the years have gone on. Uh, musically, you can see this with the R&B and soul and hip hop. She really was ahead of the game. And uh, much of the credit obviously does go to the likes of Timbaland in that regard and the other producers as well and the other writers and everyone else involved. But you can also see uh, that Aaliyah herself uh, really had a kind of a good definition of where she was going even, even in her early 20s you could see that. And especially as a teenager. Uh, she was really making moves in the acting side of things. She was so cool stylistically all through the time. You never sort of felt you totally knew who she was so the whole mystery thing I uh, really led to that aura of a great artist then and I think that that greatness obviously there's a kind of romanticism almost when when someone does die young but at the same time I think it became really it was becoming very obvious that Aaliyah was one of those artists who was going to be around and even with those three albums and those movies and all of those pictures or whatever I think that legacy is ensured uh, obviously we would have loved to have more she'd still be making music now in her early 40s no doubt about it and she'd still be acting in all those big movies but I think Aaliyah will be here forever and there's no wonder that people of all ages and all generations are still being influenced by her today.